Mass ratio problems. Hi, I'm really stuck in this question. Even after looking at the answer, I still don't understand it. Could you please help me? I have attached a photo. Many thanks, Giona. You know I love these emails, right? You know that, right? Maybe you don't know. I don't know. I love getting these emails. It's like a little present in my inbox. So let's take a look at the problem. It says there are red sweets, blue sweets, and green sweets in a bag. The ratio of red sweets to sweets that are not red is two to three. The ratio of green sweets to sweets that are not green is six to 19. Work out the ratio of red sweet to blue sweets to green sweets. Okay, I'm going to go through a bit of a slower method you can use if you get stuck on problems like this. I'll also go through a quicker method afterwards. So please skip ahead if you wanna see that, how it's done a bit faster. Uh, so I've talked a little bit about how you can represent problems in my exam walkthrough videos. You can use algebra and equations or graphs or pictures. The first thing I want to do here is to represent these statements with equations. So we've got red, blue, and green sweets. Uh, so here it says red sweets to sweets that are not red gives us a ratio. So we could say red to not red, or we could say red to blue plus green equals the ratio two to three. Then the second one says green to not green. Here we could say red plus blue instead equals six to 19. Okay, this isn't helping me so much, so I would suggest drawing a picture. Pictures with ratios is really useful because ratios are always out of a hole. So if you can draw something that represents a hole with a W, not a hole in the ground, but a hole, uh, then that can be really useful. So I like to use a bar usually, and this is going to be our, you know, whatever the sweets are in. Maybe they're in a box, they might be in a bag, but I can't be bothered drawing a bag. So let's draw, use a bar. For this first ratio, we've got red to not red. Two fifths, uh, th that's a bit less than a half. So let's draw our line just a little bit less than a half. Let's say here, this is going to be our red section. So this is our red part of this ratio. And they tell us that is two fifths of the whole. Now it's important to be able to switch between ratios and fractions. When you see the ratio two to three, you should think, well, they add up to a total of five. So two, so the two in that ratio represents two fifths. Uh, so you should be able to, you know, be able to do that usually mentally. Uh, so thinking of two third, uh, two to three is two fifths there. Um, and this part is three parts. Okay, then for the green ratio, we have a bit of an ugly ratio here, six to 19. Um, but if you think about that as, uh, you know, around the 19 to an 18, so six to 18, that's about one to three, if you divide by six there. So this is going to be about a quarter. So just, just I would just do that estimation for, for a visual thing. So this green part that I'm going to draw in the end is about a quarter of the whole, okay? All right, so that's going to be our green section, and that's six parts, that's six parts, and the rest is 19 parts. Okie doke. Uh, and that, if you add those together, it's 25, so that would be six 25ths. Okay, so now once we have this picture, I'm hoping there's a question that's jumping out at you. Uh, at least for me, there is something, there's a question in that picture that I want to answer. Do you, is there anything that jumps out at you? I'm hoping it's the big empty space in the middle here, this blue section, and you want to be able to answer what part or what fraction of the whole is that blue part, okay? To answer this, we can simply take the red and green parts away from the whole to get that blue part. So the whole is just one, and then what we're going to subtract are these fractions. So this was two fifths, Again, really important to be able to convert those ratios to fractions and vice versa. And the green part was 6 25ths. So we add those together and subtract them from the whole of the you know bag or box of sweets that we have. Okay, so the common denominator here to add these fractions will be 25. So this is going to be one take uh, two fifths. If we multiply that by five, that would be 10 on 25 plus six on 25, and then this becomes one take 16 on 25. Uh, one take 16 on 25, counting up from 16 to 25 is nine, so that's going to be nine on 25. Okay, so we have the blue section out of 25 parts, 
So we can actually already directly compare the green and the blue parts. This is nine and this is six, as we already know, six out of 25, nine out of 25. Then is there another question that jumps out at you? What's the next question you want to answer? It's what's the red part out of 25 parts, right? We have these two, green and blue out of 25. We just want red out of 25. We can't say the ratio is two to nine to six. Why not? That's also a really important question to understand. Why can I not compare these numbers? That would be like cutting up a pizza, right? And maybe you split one half into two and then you split the other part into two pieces. And then you give one friend this piece over here, maybe they get that bit, and then you get this bit, and then two other friends get these bits. And you'll say, oh, we all got one piece of pizza. You know, we all got the same amount of pizza because we all got one slice. Clearly unfair. It's the same idea. You cannot compare these parts because not they're not split into the same uh, ratio or the same number of parts. Hope that made sense. Okay, so what we want to do is to convert this ratio, two thirds, into 20 fifths. How do we do that? Well, we multiply, well, two plus three is five. Five times five is 25, so we multiply this by five. Okay, so multiplying two thirds by five, we just multiply each number by five. Two times five is 10, three times five is 15. So now this is going to be the same ratio, but it's now converted to 25th, 10 to 15. Now we can directly compare these parts of the ratio and say that the ratio of red to blue to green uh, sweets is 10 to nine to six. Okay, and that is your final answer for this question. Okay, just a, the quicker method without the picture, if you like, uh, let's take those equations we wrote up here. What you need to see here is kind of that picture without drawing the picture. So you, you notice this ratio is split up into 25 parts. You want both of them out of the same number of parts. You need to multiply this by five. So that's, that's the quicker method without doing anything else. You need to recognize that. So this is going to be 10 to 15. And then maybe what you could do to show some working out is to use some fractions. So write the red sweets as a fraction of 25. So that's 10 out of 25. Then for the green sweets, these are six out of 25. Um, so maybe the core of this question is actually being able to convert between ratios and fractions. You could think about it that way. Um, then uh, you can see that, well, if we only have blue sweets left, they're going to be one take these fractions added together. So the red parts plus the green uh, sweets. So that's, you know, we've done this sum already. That's 16, one take 16 over 25, which is nine over 25. And then you can see we've got, uh, you know, three fractions out of 25. You can easily convert that to a ratio, uh, which we already did before. So there's your final answer again. Okay, hope you found that useful. Uh, please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.